Oh, hey, everybody. I'm Blitz. Welcome back to a game called Let's Build a Zoo. You remember this is the game where we get to trade different animals away and even make some weird hybrids like this pandino, which is obviously a... A, a, a giant panda with with a rhino face on it. Also in the last video We made these beautiful little creations. These things are called rabbits, which are rabbit snakes <laughs> I don't really understand it But I do know something pretty bad that the majority of the people going to this park are protesters And I don't have any pets in my park other than maybe this pig seal that could eat the protesters and the bribe them to stop protesting my park would cost roughly $81,600. So I have a better idea. Let's make a brand new zoo. And we're going to name it Bacon Farm for obvious reasons. Oh, isn't it nice? A brand new, beautiful little spacious zoo with nothing wrong ever going to happen on it. We just have to go through the boring process at the beginning of the game to be like, hey, yes, we totally did just go through the tutorial 13 times. We'll get a few more little bunnies delivered to our park and they'll honk honk around, even though the rabbit's not geese. And we'll even get the lost puppy that turns into a lion. That's fantastic. Mainly because we just need evil points. This is what I like to see. The black market dealer already. I was waiting for that because I was getting lots of bunnies that I could sell. We just don't need you or you. Just kidding. You're pregnant. We do need you. And you're also pregnant. We don't need you. We'll get rid of the males. We don't need those. And then we can sell them for more evil points because that's really what we need right now. You're probably saying, you're Blitz, you're a monster. You just wait until we unlock the processor. We can also get a tropical juice stand, but I totally want the processor. But the good news is we can give our doggy a big pile of leaves to play in. He's going to be so fun. Did I say dog? I totally meant lion. His name's Monster, which is a great name for a lion. Look, he likes playing with his balls. Oh, and jumping in the leaves, isn't he adorable? It's just what a total lion would do. Now you might be saying to yourself, Blitz, why did you make such a large pen over here? Well, there's one reason. There's gonna be pigs in there. We're gonna sell those. So if I get a snake from down here in Brazil, then I can start getting some piggies. Or I can see what this guy has to sell because he's from the black market. Oh, he has a tigilla. Which must be a tiger and a gr Aw, he left the zoo. I was gonna buy that, but I probably didn't have enough money. That would have been fun. Now it's time for my favorite part. Going to the research hub and opening up the processor. Oh, it's fantastic. Now I can continue working my way to the right here, where I can use those hard-earned evil morality points for the bacon factory. Yes, it does require a pig, but thankfully, I have the proper snake to trade for little piggies. Goodbye, little snake. You're not pregnant. I don't care about you. We're getting pigs. And then we'll put the pigs right in here. And there's our brand new piggy and a capybara. I don't know why they're in the same pen. I really don't care. But what I do care about is going to the crisper splicer. And now I can start cloning them. We're going to clone two of them. And it'll be fantastic. And the other thing we're going to do is start breeding them. You know, on second thought, we don't really need to breed the bunnies. We really just need to breed piggies so we can have lots of them. And then the game's going to be like, we really want you to have more pigs. So please take more bacon. Now we can start having a little bit of fun with some different factories over here. First off, we need a f processor. And I should probably build two processors. Ooh, a new animal variant. I don't really care. What I do care about is bacon factories, though. Oh, yes. Wow, politeness. I can imagine Garland here being like, nah, not polite with anyone. He just wants to cut up pigs and make bacon out of them. So that the way this works is it takes the raw materials, also known as carcass, and then it makes the products. But the first thing we have to do is, is actually, like, you know, like, create a carcass. Which in itself is a little bit sad, but nobody really cares about Crystal the Goose. So, euthanize it! And now it turns into a little tiny puddle. And then they take Crystal inside of this meat processor and creates a small carcass with carrion. Which we can sell for $84. And by 84, I totally mean 48 because I can't read properly. And that, my friends, is exactly why we need more pigs. Oh boy, our cloned animals are ready. Let's collect our little piggy and put him back in here. Hello, glorious little pile of bacon. Nice of you to join us. Yay, baby pigs. Oh, that's fantastic. Now my extra favorite time, the time to sell animals to the black market. Let's get rid of a whole bunch of little bunnies for a nice cool $2,180. Also, we have way too many geese. I can also buy a snake a hippopotamus. <laughs> what is this? Snickopotamus is good for? I don't know. I can't afford it. I can't afford it. I don't want to afford it. Because we need pigs, and we need lots of pigs. Look at this little fella. A golden pig. I bet his bacon... Oh, you're trying to be shy, aren't you? Look at there. Tootsie the pig. 
Oh, you're gonna be very nice. I should give you like straight up bacon for your diet, like bacon cheeseburgers. I have a special bacon truck that sprays bacon smells into things, making everyone who walks by want to eat bacon. For a fee, I will make the whole town smell of bacon. And you can put up your price due to increased demand. If I donate $5,000 to him, then he is gonna spray bacon smells into the air. Also, it's Jeff Goldblum. It has to be. It looks just like him. I'm gonna do it. I mean, I have $12,000. I might as well give the bacon man bacon. Okay, I just need to sell 20% more bacon every day, and I haven't actually made any bacon yet, but I might be able to make some capybara bacon. That seems kind of fun. Euthanize you. And maybe you too, because we don't really need you. Boop. Oh, hot diggity dog. We have all sorts of fun things today. We have horses and cows and ostriches. This is the best day ever, and even a capybara. I'm just gonna put everything right here in the capybara pen. I think you know where this is going. Except maybe the ostriches, where we're putting the old this pen. I don't even know what to call it, but that pen. And our new piggies are ready to put back into here. And I'm just gonna turn this to infinite amount of breeding pigs. Oh, fantastic, the horse and cow are here. Time to euthanize them and turn them into bacon. Do you have horse bacon and cow bacon? It's kind of weird, but I think we can. Also, yeah, we're gonna make ostrich bacon because I like ostrich bacon in real life. Just kidding, I don't think you can actually have that, but now I got a bunch more money. <laughs> Currently making snake jerky. Also, there's a lot of other things because I really don't even have the warehouse employee or relevant worker to transport it for further processing. I've been looking in this research hub for the last 15 minutes, and I am not exactly sure what it is, but there is an employees button over here that shows me that there's something right here, right here, and right here that we can get in the future. Also, this is kind of cool. We can make wings if we have chickens. And I say cool by some sort of sarcastic way. Because let's be honest, nobody wants to eat cold wings. Hot wings are the way to go. I think it might also be time to add a few more nurseries to this place. And this is interesting. An immoral proposition. A new type of animal food. Hey, I heard that you do some business on the darker side of society. You see, people like us deal with a lot of people. Dead people. It's just part of the business, you know. Help us dispose of the evidence by feeding it to your animals. No one will find out. Have we got a deal? Uh, for $500? Yes. And we'll put it in with the uh, pigs. Yeah, that's a good idea. We'll just shove the dead corpse right in there and hopefully the pigs lead it. Cause then we can turn them into bacon. Oh, now this is even better. I can start a smear campaign against your competitor to who sell glue. It doesn't matter if it's true or not. So as long as the acquisitions stick, you should be able to sell glue at a higher premium. That's from the horses. Yes, please. So finally we get to unlock that warehouse and slap it right in here. And this is fantastic. The products made in your factories are stored here. They are sold every Friday when the goods truck arrives to collect them. I could also make belts, which sounds amazing. I haven't really been breeding snakes very often, but it looks like they're doing a pretty good job on their own. And I added a few more nurseries just so we can have more piggies being bred. This is hilarious. The people are protesting my bacon factory. They're all like, oh, please don't eat people. Bad living conditions, don't do it. And then I shoved them inside there and then they just disappeared because all of the pigs were so excited and happy to jump around. And I also made $1,400 today, which is kind of nice, but I really haven't been processing too much bacon yet. So I think it's time to begin. I'm so sorry, little piggy. I'm sorry, but I'm not sorry. You're gone. Oh, on the trampoline, ouch. The humanity. We're gonna turn those into bacon. I made $600 today. And now they wanna send us meerkats. <laughs> have you seen what I'm doing to the pigs? We just have a giant birthing facility up here full of baby pigs. And there's like 50 of them just bouncing around in this little pen. It would sure be a shame to watch 34 hours. It takes you 34 hours to cut up a pig? I mean, it's worth it. The good news is we're gonna get a snake pelt out of this. And we can totally turn that snake pelt into a $144 belt. Yes, please. Oh, and now we have all of the pig variants. I feel like it's time to only try to breed the gold ones. Jump for joy, little piggy. That was your last meal. You're gonna be turned into somebody else's meal. And you too. I'm so sorry, cute thing. We really don't need these gray ones or the pink ones. We just need to process lots of them. There's too many animals dying. <laughs> I literally can't keep up with the amount of creatures that are committing Sudoku for the pain in my park. So I'll just have to add a few more processors so we can make more piggies more faster. And then we're gonna make our first bacon. It's only taken me like four hours, but I've finally turned a zoo into a fully functional 
bacon factory. Isn't it fantastic? Bacon and more bacon. Oh, there must be smoking it here in the product section. And it sells for $21. Anyway, my friends, that'll do it today for Let's Build a Zoo. What a strange and unique game, and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, let me know, and keep your stick on the ice. We'll catch you next time. I'd also like to thank all of the channel members and Patreon supporters, including Alan H, Apollo Bunny, Otto Dave, Ben, Dickie J, Teddy Epius, Desby, Eagle Ark, Maxer, Whip It Good, Baron Fox, Zarnoff, Deegan, Jason M. Rail, Splatter Sacks, Iffy Spear, Joe B, Obi John Kenobi, Fury Arrow, and Doug Rules 2.0.